All right, hey everybody, Miku X Switch is back for more Overwatch now. Okay, so, so the point of this video is like, there's there's a lot of stuff we that we left out. Like we have this here, the tutorial. We didn't even well. Okay, so here's the thing. Like, well. In this video, I'm going to show off the tutorial and show off all the heroes because all the heroes that I did were the, uh, was just Echo. And I only have a few quick play matches in. So if, if I make both, if I make both the, if I make both the, the tutorial plus playing it with all the heroes and maybe get one more match, well, get one more match in. Well, a couple matches and and that will be that will mostly be the project. <laughs> but seriously, well, the quick play. I don't know. Well, the quick play matches that you that you found that you found. Well, they're gonna go to that playlist. So it's, so we'll just say that we played the game because there's not much in this game in the story wise to let's play that. So there's not really a point and. Because really, all we gotta do, it, oh, yeah, this is all there is. I know there's arcade and such. And, well, I don't really. Well, there's not really a. I don't know. And there's competitive play and such, but that's all there is, really, multiplayer. So what we do is, we'll go through the tutorial and then we'll show off all the heroes. So. And now we'll mostly wrap up the project. Well, okay. Let's get started. Hello, Soda 76. I am Athena. I will be guiding you through the Overwatch training program. Now, where is she? Wait for me! Hiya! Razor here! Let's get started. Please use your controls to look at Tracer as she moves around the room. Over here! Excellent. Now watch Tracer run to the center of the room. Hmm. Let's go over the basics of movement. You can move forwards and backwards in the direction you're looking. You can also move left and right. Follow Tracer as she moves around the hangar. Continue following Tracer. Keep following Tracer. Excellent. Jump up onto the ledge and go through the blast door. Welcome to the target range. Please proceed to the highlighted area. Hey. Let me walk you through the basics of combat. Your portrait is displayed in the lower left corner of your screen. That's you, Soldier 76. Next to it is your current health. If it reaches zero, you die. Your primary weapon is your heavy pulse rifle. I'll get you something to shoot at. Yeah, so we see the crosshairs in the middle of your screen. Move them over the training bot, then fire. Yeah, so you, Nicely done. Uh, you can also strike a target near you with a melee attack. Move next to the training bot, aim, then strike it with a melee attack. So yeah, you get this we get to start with a weapon over here. Enemies in the field may be a little harder to hit than that one. Let me get you something a little more challenging to shoot at. Enemies like these training bots are marked with a red outline. Damaging an enemy causes their current health to display above their head. Okay, so we get to shoot them. Most weapons fire a limited amount of ammo before they need to be reloaded. Your current ammo is displayed here, in the bottom right of the screen. If you run out of ammo, you will automatically reload it. 
or you can manually reload at any time. Great work. That covers the basics of your weapon. Next, we'll go over your abilities. We'll begin with Sprint. Please go to the highlighted area in the center of the room. In addition to Sprint, you also have the ability to heal yourself with Biotic Field. To demonstrate it, I need to damage you slightly. Now, deploy a Biotic Field. You will heal while you're within the glowing area. Note that you will have to wait a short time before using that ability again. Hmm. This cooldown time is displayed over the ability icon. Your rifle is also equipped with heal slots. You can launch a volley of rockets in the direction you're aiming. When the rockets explode, they also damage nearby enemies. Try it out on the targets. Finally, let me explain Tactical Visor. Your ultimate ability. These powerful abilities can change the course of a game. But you must fully charge it before using it. Your current charge level is displayed here, at the bottom of your screen. Charge your tactical visor by damaging the train wheels. So yeah, you can combine everything all together to charge up your ultimate. optimizes your shots so they do not miss. Now, activate your tactical visor and destroy the training bots. I've got you in my sights. So yeah, the tactical visor lets you, uh... All targets destroyed. Huh. Nice work, Soldier 7. Okay, hold on. For the final phase of the training program, I'll show you how to capture an objective. Your current objective is indicated with the directional marker labeled A. Head through the open door and proceed to the objective. So the so the tactical visor allows you to shoot to shoot without aiming. That's what it was. The objective is marked with a bright outline on the ground. To capture it, move inside the area. Now, now for the most part the games While have capturing. You can now try a practice game versus AI. You play the tutorial or face off against other players. So yeah, I'm not sure the tutorial will be similar to the in the second one, like So when we start we'll just go to the practice range and we're and we got and we got a couple of heroes to use. So yeah, the heroes are sorted by ABC order, and we already did, well, this is an Echo was the only one we did. And we got Soldier 76, we're not gonna, we're not gonna do Soldier 76 either because the game, the tutorial showed how, how it's played with it. So, so yeah, those are all the heroes here, and we're gonna go ahead and get started starting with the tank over here. Now. I'm gonna talk about costumes later, though, or maybe in another video, but I'm not sure how much time we're gonna get with all the heroes, but I think for now we might work on a tank and a support to fill in the time. Okay, I'm gonna demonstrate holding the- hold on. Hold on, so where's- okay, so where's the hero details? Oh wait, right here. So. So we put D.Va so she gets the fusion cannons and then we get the light gun. Well, the, well, I don't know. And 
Her ultimate self-destruct or call will make depending on which which it is. The boosters. And then you get you get the boosters be flying in the direction you're facing. Uh, block projectiles in the area in front of you. And micro missiles launch a vo volley of explosive rockets. Well, Diva's passive is Egypt, so well passives actually mean like what characters have inside them. Meaning like the abilities are unique to the character, and she's a two-star difficulty character. So we're gonna get started here. So she has a big suit here, and then you can use her primary fire. This is her primary fire. I but, still love you. So, 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 it's, it's short, it's short range, so short range works a lot better, so that's why you want to get closer, and if you get a bit further, you only take a little bit of damage, but it's still good though, by any means, and the boosters, you just get to boost, you can also fly with this thing as well. Okay, it's almost done. Okay, so... And, th and this is what rockets do. It doesn't matter how far they are. Okay, so the ultimate is charge. Oh yeah, about the defense matrix. Well... Okay, so here's the thing. Okay. Hold on. I think I'll go wait for it to fully charge before I'll use it. Time to raise my APM. APM door I believe. Uh, well, it doesn't really damage them, it seems. But it's gonna take a while for the for the bots to destroy me. Well, there's no way to damage me a lot quicker, though. Come on. <laughs> well, I might have to do one segment at a time for the project. Because I think it might take a while to introduce him. Yeah. This is a this is a passive I'm talking about. So when she exits her mech, when she when her health is reaches zero for the mech, she comes out of the she comes out of the mech suit. So the only thing you get to do is fire at them, and the uh, ultimate fills up quicker because she's mostly defenseless without her mech. So, and now we got the ultimate. We can go back inside. And also the ultimate. The ultimates for both the mech and uh and and the and Diva herself are separate, so Okay. So yeah. We can So yeah, with the with her ultimate you can actually uh get the You can actually launch it. But, And, and and every time every time well e even though you didn't hit the targets even th even though you didn't hit the targets he, you still get them you'll, you'll still get to go back to your go back to your mech after it explodes anyway so now we're done with uh now we're done with uh diva so we're gonna move on to arisa so Arisa is a two-star character, and she has a fusion driver, automatic projectile weapon slows Arisa while firing. Hold a supercharger, deploy a device that increases damage inflicted by your allies. Throw a device that creates a barrier. Put this, and then fortify, reduce damage taken, and you cannot be stopped. Halt a gravitation damp charge with uh then with with the left mouse right mouse button, then detonate it with the right mouse button. The sphere slows and pulls the enemies near nearby enemies to it. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead. Your safety is my primary concern. So, this is her 
primary. Yeah, she slows down when used. When it's used. So, we'll see how much damage. Establishing defense point. If it takes a little bit of damage when using that. Systems restored. Okay, so with this. Halt. Oh, I didn't I didn't click it fast enough. Okay, so You are not getting away. So yeah, it moves the it moves the it moves the enemies right right through the orb. And finally we got the barrier. The barrier is useful for for protecting for protecting the allies and and you can use it right in front you can use it you can't you can use it to shoot through it. Okay, now their ultimate's ready. We'll, we'll just see. You see how fast? You see how slow it's going? I'm just gonna attack it. And now, no, watch this. We get to charge enemies, not enemy allies. We get to, we get to charge any ally that's on it, including yourself. So, yeah, that about does it for Arisa. Doesn't have anything. And now we got Reinhardt. Reinhardt has a rocket hammer. His one star, one star, one star hero. So you could use a hammer using a devastating melee weapon. Ultimate Earth Shatter knocks all, down all enemies in front of you. Charge. Charge forward and smash an enemy against the wall. Fire strike. Fire a fire. Launch a fiery projectile. Barrier field. Hold the left right mouse button to deploy a frontal energy barrier. Passive. Steadfast. Uh, resistant to knockback effects. Well, we don't have any knockbacks that we can try. Just as we so, done. yeah, Reinhardt's primary weapons are him. Okay, so another attack we got. Now, it's not over, it's not it's not that overpowered. D don't worry. As you can see here, well, I guess it is, but not to every hero. And fine, well, we got the charge, and with the charge, you can you can pin the uh, you can pin the enemies, but it does well. Sometimes you get to kill them depending on what they what they are. And finally, we got the shield. You can protect enemies with. You can protect allies with uh, with the shield. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and destroy them to fill up the ultimate, because we cannot show the. Because there's no knockback that we can do. Okay, so we got Earth Shatter. We got Earth Shatters ready to use. So, no, so no, no, that's not what it does. Normally, what it does is it stuns them, and when you stun them, you can actually combine it with your charge to pin them, if you're having trouble pinning them. And so, yeah, that about does it for uh, Reinhardt. We're gonna move to Rohog. So, oh, hold on. Actually, I forgot the chip. So we got the scrap gun, right mouse button, short range weapon, spread weapon, and the uh, right left mu right mouse button, medium range spread weapon. Uh, and a whole hog damage and not back enemies in front of you. Chain hook, drag a targeted enemy to you. Take a breather, heal yourself, or reduce damage taken over a short time. It's a one star tank. So, yeah, we're gonna go ahead. So he has two different types of attacks. So yeah, short. So he has a medium range. So yeah. So he takes a little bit of damage. Well, I did not know he had that kind of... Uh -oh. And now we got the grappling hook. 
So yeah, that's that's where it's useful for. And lastly, well, we got we're gonna take a little bit of damage, and then what we can do? Yeah, we just heal ourselves from there. We'll fill up the damage. Okay, so we got Bull Hog. Let's see who pushes him back. So, yeah. So, yeah. That wraps up the uh, World Hog. We'll go to Sigma. We got Hypersphere's. Launch two charges with implode after a short duration, dealing damage in the area. Ultimate gravi Gravitic Flux. Manipulate gravity to lift enemies into the air and slide them back down. Net grasp. Absorb projectiles in front of you and convert them into shields. A Christian. Uh, uh, gather a mass of debris and throw an uh, enemy to knock them down. Experimental barrier. Hold to propel a floating barrier. Release to stop. Press again to recall a barrier to you. And it's a three star tank. There is no obligation for the universe to make sense to you. So yeah, this is his primary attack. And then we get to uh, use... This is it. Like okay. And so we're almost done. So what we do is... Activating the barrier. So we get the barrier. And also... Yeah. That lets him have a little bit of of that's about a little bit of of, of shield. Barrier is unstable. You also get rid of the barrier by getting rid of it like that if you want to recharge. Okay, so we got grab the books. Oh. Well, they can fall as high as like right here, though. My I fail to use. I fail to use it. Okay, so we got Winston. So we got there's a two-star tank. So we got the Tesla cannon, electric frontal cone weapon. Ultimate Primal Rage, gain immense health, but you can only leap to punch enemies. Jump pack, leap forward in the air, landing on an enemy damages them. Barrier projector, deploy a protective energy dome. So, we're gonna go ahead and get with that. Imagination is the essence of discovery. So, so yeah, this is his primary weapon. That's no secondary. Fundamental. You also da yeah, you can also damage them by use. Double kill. And then also with the barrier, barrier activated. You attack them with this. You protect them with this. Oh no, I somehow almost got him stuck. Okay, so the primal rage is raised, so I feel great. Barrier up. So we just I uh appear to have lost control. Yeah. And that wraps up Pet Winston. So we got Wrecking Ball. So we got quad, quad cannons, and we got with automatic assault weapons, 
minefield is his ultimate. Deploy a massive field of approximately mines. Grappling claw. Launch a grappling claw to rapidly swing around the area. Enables high speed collisions to damage and knock back enemies. Roll. Transform to a ball and increase maximum movement speed. Plow driver. Slam into the ground below to damage and launch enemies upward. An adaptive shield. Create temporary personal shields. Amount increases with more enemies nearby. It's a three star tank. So. So. What you can do is just. This is his primary weapon. Well. Well, you can only use a grappling hook when you turn into a ball, but you can always change at any time. So, so yeah, you can if you get what is called Wrecking Ball, you click here. You can spin around with this. Oh yeah, I forgot about the... Okay, so... You can also slam, and then if enemies are nearby, they can hop up, but I had a hard time doing it. Okay. I'm not sure what I'm doing, though. But... Yeah, if you put a shield, it gets more of a shield. Okay, so we got the minefield. So, we're gonna go ahead and go over there and launch it. So, any enemies that walk in there get exploded. And I guess that wraps up uh, Wrecking Ball. So yeah, I'm gonna end things one more with one more tank, Zarya. So yeah, particle cannon, short range line or beam weapon, energy grenade launcher, ultimate gravitation surge, launch a gravity well that pulls enemies to it, particle barrier, create a damage barrier around you, Project projective barrier, create a damage barrier around an ally. Passive. The passive's energy bl damage blocked by barriers increases particle cannon damage. So, yeah, we're gonna go Together, ahead and pick Zarya. So Zarya has a laser. This is a primary. This is a secondary one. And also, you, you can get... So, yeah, you can get barriers on them. You can get a barrier on yourself as well. Take a while to charge that thing up. Okay, so we got a gravity should surge, or I don't know. Well, it traps enemies in there. Although the cool part about this is you can actually, the cool part about this is you can actually get, you can combine ultimates to be used in order to get them. Okay, so that wraps up the, uh, so yeah, that wraps up the, uh, the tank. Well, I don't know how long it would take, so I think the next video will cover the damage heroes. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos. And don't forget to ring the bell so you get notified whenever I upload. And as always, I'll see you guys later. Bye, and you guys take care.